Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Forgotten Stream and welcome along to what is effectively a grand final of United League Reborn 5. These, this is a match between the top two teams of Division 1 and they will be battling it out for the ultimate glory. They have three maps to play tonight. The environments will be Bay, Coast and Stadium. It is going to be interesting. If I had to make any bets, I would put all my money and all my property and I would even take a bank loan and bet some more money on CMC, to be perfectly honest. Because TNT don't really have that competitive a lineup for both Stadium and Coast. It is, of course, a different story on Bay, especially since TNT already beat CMC on Bay in, in the group stage. But this is a Sander's map. Sander is going to be driving himself. We all know that he is a great Bay driver. And it looks like TNT are missing Zippy. And Zippy would have been, well, one of the strongest players on all the on all of these environments for TNT. So the teams are warming up on Bay and Roa. Just goes and drives 5403. Top four in rounds daddy. He also renewed the rounds daddy top one for stadium as well during qualities. So Roa looks hot. Yeah, just a confirmation of what I said in chat from Angel Heart. So chat, what are your predictions for this match? Do you agree with me? Or do you think TNT are going to take it? My bet is 3-0 three, three for tonight. But they are only playing three maps. But I expect TNT to to give CMC a fight, especially on Bay. Unfortunately, I do not have a whole lot of stats to make any meaningful predictions based on that because this, the stats people went slacking this season unfortunately and we only have stats for the first two or three rounds I believe don't quite remember I think three we're missing stats for rounds four and five <laughs> yes Semko that is unfortunate
so it looks like we are going to have Johnny, Vet and Black Cat against Roa, Aru and Sander. Only two joysticks and one of them is on the TNT side. So many gamepads. Obviously, Black Cat and Sander are the joystick players. We all know that joystick is a superior controller in this game. See, Vet is complaining about batteries running out in his wireless gamepad. Always go with wired, it's better. Johnny on joystick? I never knew about that. But, well, you see, he is one of the fastest drivers here on Bay. So that would explain it. So many crashes so far in warm-up. I hope the drivers are going to do a little better in the match itself. People are worried about hitting the checkpoints after the tunnel and Sanders says that he hasn't managed to hit it yet. He's obviously too slow. Because Passy managed to do that early on, in like second day of training or something. Uh, by the way, Fleur, Fleur, damn it! I'm struggling with French names in English. Florent. Uh, what is your nickname in Trackmania? Not sure. I know who Florent Remy is. C. Yes, yeah, C should be better. And it looks like the teams have warmed up sufficiently. Ah, so that is Diablo. It's good to know who I'm talking to. Okay, hopefully set up the server correctly and there should be no hiccups. And off we go. Yola 5 Calamity by Sanda. Aro gets a good start. There has have been no crashes yet. Black Cat takes the lead. Vet dropping down from the back. He's still chasing. Aro with a small wall hit. Drops down. Johnny out in front from Roa. Sander and Black Cat. Which is tied for the lead. Vet is coming back. Not the best line in the tunnel, but he survives. Roa 
Massive slowdown, at least he didn't crash. Nobody's going to hit the checkpoint, and Johnny continues to lead from... Ooh, Aru! Going onto two wheels and crashing, and Roa crashed. And Santa only manages third after Johnny and Black Cat, and that is first blood for TNT. I do hope my neighbors are not going to mind me shouting that much. Some intense battles there, and CNC prevail. Second round. Good start from Black Cat, Roa Aru. Really close, Sander not too far behind. That dropped down a little bit again. Oh, it is really tight between. Johnny, Santa, Black Cat, Roa slightly ahead of them, but Roa goes on to two wheels, has to save it. And I think he drops down to last because of that. Now he is neck and neck with that, according to stat. I mean, according to what Fast is showing me at the bottom. Santa is fighting, but he will still finish behind Johnny. However, that crashed, so Roa wasn't last, and Aru, while on the, with the same finishing time as Black Cat, <laughs> is classified ahead of him, and it is one for one. I hope this is going to go as tight as this until the very end. Rowan Johnny with an excellent start, followed by Aru. Others are not too far behind. Johnny with a really good line there, coming out of the black section. Managing to keep it through that platform turn. However, he dropped down a little bit afterwards. Black Cat, not the greatest line in the tunnel. Johnny goes into the lead, but Aru and Roa are chasing him. It looks like... Sa oh, and Johnny crashed, so it is going to be Roa from Aru and Santa. And what started as a close round ended up a 1-2-3 for CMC. And does it look like that had a bad disconnect in this round. Round 4. Roa and Sander with the quickest start. Black Cat and Johnny in pursuit. Aru joining them. That must have crashed at the start. He's already 5 seconds down. Maybe that's a bad disconnect. Ooh, Roa hitting the checkpoint a little bit. He will stay in it. The joystick drivers, Black Cat and Sanda. Slugging it out. Black Cat so far stays ahead. Aru not willing to jump straight. And that allows Johnny to catch up. Does Sanda has have any tricks up his sleeve? Not enough to prevail against Black Cat. However, Roa finishes ahead of Johnny, and with a 2-3-4 strategy, CMC take another point, and there are apologies from that, I don't know what's going on with him. Either nerves, or technical issues. He doesn't reveal the cause. Johnny out in front from Aru, however, that was an ambitious line and he makes it work, currently going for Daddy 1. However, his, his onslaught got a bit stale, he dropped behind Sander, Roa and Vet. Roa with a wall hit and a slide, 
Let's see if he manages to stay ahead of Black Cat. Sansa is currently leading from Vet and Arrow. Johnny is right there with them. However, Johnny slid out a little bit and Santa and Aru assure a round win by finishing 1 and 2. Santa with a 54 2. I believe that's the fastest time I've seen so far. Yes, indeed it is. 24 points for the Estonian driver, the mapper who built this map, followed by Aru. Johnny Black Cat, that is really tight. Roa and Vet a little bit behind. Johnny with another excellent start. Let's see. Aru, I think, was trying to go. Ooh, Vet and Roa both crashed, but Vet, I think, will have to respawn. Santa crashed. Now that is uncharacteristic. So it is Johnny out in front from Aru and Black Cat, and Johnny. Goes onto two wheels but saves it. Which allows Aru to catch up. And now they're neck and neck. And there's Black Cat as well. So can Aru overtake Johnny at the finish? No, he can't. One hundredth of a second. That decides the outcome of the round. TNT takes second point. But that was a hard-fought battle. 4-2. to two. CMC in the lead. This is round 7. Johnny, Roa, Sander and Black Cat starting faster than others. Johnny, small slide on the exit of that platform. Ooh, Sander, a huge crash. Roa gets into the lead, followed by Johnny, Aru and Black Cat. Black Cat with a small mistake. Now it is neck and neck between Roa and Johnny. Aru trying to attack, but he didn't get the best line through that tunnel. Nothing separating Roa and Johnny. Only one turn to go. Who's got the better line? title line from Roa 300th up on Johnny followed by Aru who is once again tied with Black Cat with 5466 but once again the game decides to give that extra point to CMC <laughs> oh my god what is the fastest time for Aru 5435 Black Cat 5444 so far Mix's theory is holding up it's probably because Aru has a better fastest time driven than the black cat than Black Cat. Round eight. Aru Sansa Black Cat in the lead. There's Johnny with them. Ooh, Aru crashed. That was a pretty nasty one. Pretty much like Sansa in the round prior. I believe Vet and Johnny both crashed, so it is Sansa. Black Cat and Roa out in front, but Sander will slide. Now, what is that all about? So far, it is an 11 10 round win for TNT. Can Roa overtake Black Cat? Not with this gap. Yes, he just was too far behind to try and attack in the last turns, and Arrow was nowhere. TNT take another point. 3, 5. Round 9. Arrow, a little bit too ambitious, going over the edges of the blocks. Will drop about half a second, probably more. Black Cat into the lead. Roa crashes. I think he stays in it, but he will drop down to fifth. So it is Sander from Black Cat and Johnny, followed by Vet and 
unless anybody on TNT side is going to crash, it is going to be a round win for the blue side. So they don't even need to attack. However, I see that Aru and Roa are getting closer to that and... Is anything going to happen? Not really. Roa did overtake that. Arrow finished behind. TNT take another point. 4 to 5, 1 point a difference. The point stats are really close. 37, 36, 35, 32, 30. Only that's a little bit down. Was it that? No, it was not. It was Black Cat sliding out in the beginning. And it is Sander out in front from Roa, Vet and Johnny. They managed to get through these chicanes alright. And Arrow with a good line getting ahead of both Vet and Johnny. And it is Roa, Sander, Johnny, Vet and Arrow. So far looks pretty good for CMC. However, I saw Arrow making a mistake. Roa comfortably ahead of the rest. Sander in the pickle with Johnny and Vet. However, he managed to stay in second position. Johnny and Vet with identical times of 54, 66. And CMC take map point. Round 11. If CMC win it, they take the map. If TNT win it, they remain in it with a chance. Sandra with a really quick start, sending it into these chicanes. Ooh, even going onto two wheels and not dropping it. He lost some time for sure, but not enough. Black Cat crashed, four seconds down. Sandra in the lead from Johnny Roa. Johnny crashed, so it is Sander from Roa and Vet and Aru gets ahead of that. This just doesn't look good for TNT. At this point CMC don't need to push at all. Sander with a daddy top 3 and a 53-93. What a way to finish the map. Seven to four. CMC take map number one. Eula five calamity, a bay map by Sander. But TNT will surely feel a bit hard done. Because two rounds went the way of CMC with Arrow tying Black Cat and getting classified ahead well such is track mania you drive the fastest time first and then and then it pays dividends basically you have to tee noob No, I believe Team 2 Lagoon, if you're talking about Lagoon itself, uh, has nothing to do with Bay in terms of physics. If you're talking about Bay in Trackmania 2, which is based on Lagoon, I think... It is different, but is it released? I don't even know. I never played any environment remakes in Trackmania 2 apart from Island. But the people in chat do say it's different.
Okay then. So we are into map number two, Yola 5 Bella Ferronte by Nilstone, who I believe is present here in chat. Watching my stream. Hello Neil. Love you and your maps. And yeah, this is going to be a coast map. And TNT are lacking their best coast player, which is Zippy, who is going to be replaced by budget Zippy apparently. Which is not the same. So many people driving warm up on the CMC side. I'm not even sure who's going to drive. But it is pretty much apparent that the TNT lineup is going to be that Diablo and Black Cat. Ah, so Johnny does use joystick, indeed, because he's grabbing pad for stadium. I never knew Johnny was a joystick player. However, did I even ask him? Ever. Probably not. Well, if Stadium, oh, I mean, if Bay was close and dramatic, I wouldn't really expect Coast to go the same way. Because TNT just don't have the proper lineup for Coast. I mean, if you want to compete at the sharpest end of Division 1, yeah, they have Zippy, but that's about it. And Zippy is absent. CMC do have a host of players who are able to keep up with the very best in Division 1. I believe Santa is not going to be driving Coast because he's never too fond of doing that. Yes, Minwi, obviously Zuzu's map was the best map of the whole league. No contest. Wonder how many rounds of warm up they are going to have. Diablo was asking for three days of it. I do hope that they are not going to to go with that plan. I believe we got a daddy two from Roa one oh forty two. It's not quite the world record, but. It's the second best time driven in rounds on this map in Daddy Mania. So is Roa just going to drive? Great times in warm up on every map. He already drove his best daddy time on bay in warm-up. He drove daddy top one on stadium in quali. Nice synchronized crashing from Vets and Raw. An hour, I mean. Are you guys serious? Six rounds of warm up? I don't think. I think we sometimes get fewer than that in CMC2.
Oh yes, Rez. That would be quite some crowd. Yep, 5985 should be the world record in TA by Hawk. So, are you planning to beat the world record, Semko? Just for the sake of it. So this is basically the final and I am only the only person streaming it. Now that is interesting. Not... Not a single French stream. So Axata in chat. Axata, why are you why are you not streaming? What about Silver 101? I wonder how many people there are on on relay. Relays are not really common these days. For wanting box slides on stadium. I haven't seen the qualities, but from what I can gather from the point standings in warm-up, it will probably be Aru Rezen Roa for CMC. So many nice crashes and stunts. Okay, the drivers have warmed up. And they're getting ready to go. Couple of 100s in warm up by Roa. Let's see. What kind of times we are going to see in the actual match? <laughs> Off we go! Roa didn't slide at this chicane at the start. R Roa and Vet with a good start. Aru and Rez right there with them. 1, 2, 3 for CMC at the moment. That is the closest follower. And I hear Black Cat sliding. Roa sliding. And Diablo was in last. That is until Roa got there. Rez out in front from Aro and Vet. Can they keep it up? They better do. Because Roa is last and by some margin however no mistakes so far I think there's one turn to go Rez takes the round with arrow one and two Roar was trying to overtake black cat but he slid and crashed good start by CMC first blood to them Uh, 
round two. Diablo with a small mistake. Aru Roa, resin black cat, all pretty finely poised. Black cat sliding. So it is only that in pursuit of the three CMC drivers. Roa res Aru. Really close. I heard somebody sliding. That would have been Diablo, I guess. Still nothing separating the three CMC drivers, and that is in the premium seat to watch that performance. Res, small mistake, dropping a little bit behind, Roa getting slightly ahead of Aru, and Aru crashes in the tunnel at the very end. However, Roa with a time of 10092 takes first from Res. And it is another point for CMC with Aru ending up last. <laughs> Round 3, Aru and Roa starting off nicely. Aru pulling away into the lead, and it is really tight in the battle for second between Rez, Black Cat, Vet, and Roa. Diablo slightly behind the pack, and Vet will slide. And what happened to Black Cat? Looks like he made a mistake. So once again, it is a trio of CMC drivers out in front. This time it's Aru in the lead from Roa and Rez. One turn to go. This time it's Aru with an excellent time of 10085 followed by Roa and Rez. And it is 3-0. Res so far leading on the points actually. The only one not crashing. And Arrow will crash right at the very start. So it is all on Roa and Res. Because you cannot really hope for your opponents to crash unless you are me. But I usually don't play in D1. And that's why I hope for opponents to TE noob. Meanwhile, Roa is leading the round from Black Cat and Res. Black Cat was attacking, that is until he slid and crashed. So it is Vet who is in third, being the closest follower of this CMC duo. Out of four seconds down, it doesn't seem like he's going to be able to catch up to anybody. Roa still first, Rez still there in second, and so they finish Roa with a 10083. Raising the bar. Roa gets a little bit closer on the point standings, however, Rez is still first. Budget Zippy is Diablo. And we have Aru and Vet making mistakes at the crash. Uh, uh, making mistakes at the start, I'm sorry. I missed what happened to Rez. He was slower than Aru. And Roa and Black Cat will both slide and crash. And I see Vet sliding out. So it is Rez from Aru and Diablo. Aru with a couple of mistakes and now it is neck and neck between him and Diablo. Can he keep his composure and second place? It is not required, but it is always nice to finish ahead of your opponent, isn't it? Roa currently fifth. 
Here's some sliding. I can't really see who that would be. Res takes first with a 10235. Not exactly quick, but I saw that he was slow at the start. Aru second and with a lead time of 103.37 Diablo takes third. Round 6. So far TNT scored no points on this map. Which is definitely not helped by them missing Zippy. They only have budget Zippy who discovered the map a few hours before the match. And budget Zippy is Diablo and he will slide and crash. And we have Rez out in front from Black Cat, Roa and Aru. Rez with a slide drops down to second. However, he is not out of this round. Makes another mistake. He is down to fifth position. He is not giving up, however. Roa first from that. Aru, Black Cat, Rez. Rez send it. He will and will capitalize on Black Cat's crash at the end. Roa with a 1 0 6 nil meanwhile, and this is map point. Yes, I think we should send Zeus to CMC2 by now and let Rez drive more maps in Division 1. Haven't seen Zeus driving so far. Anyway. This is map point and round number seven. And Rez made a big mistake. So he may lose his points lead to Roa after this round. Roa, meanwhile, out in front. Black Cat crashed. From Vet, Aru, and Diablo. Let's watch Vet and Aru battling for seconds. It is tight. But Arrow seems to have got more confidence than Vet. He sends it through the tunnel chicane. Rover with a 10059 takes first, followed by Aru. Res only fifth. And Rover will end up first in the points. 7 nil. CMC take another map. Did I take both screenshots? And <clears throat> I didn't take any screenshots twice. And now we're going to play Stadium. which is a map built by Sander and Roa. And I believe it is going to be... I believe it's going to be another map won by CMC. Because how do you battle Roa and Santa on stadium? Okay, map 3 of tonight, Yola 5, Fill the Void by Santa and Roa. Santa, Roa and Angelheart are going to be driving for CMC. And what about TNT? I think Johnny, Hardcore and I guess Vet, judging by the comments I've seen. 
Uh, yes, there was a roster change between TN2 and TNT. So Hardcore is in Division 1. Is that a surprise for you, Cinemini? Seeing as you were a teammate. Wait, Raw was 1004 didn't get saved? Well, speaking of 4th Division, I don't know, uh, there, well, there were only two divisions, but there were teams of quite some different levels in Division 2. Like, the bottom four teams are pretty much Division 3, and I don't know, it is really for slow players. Sander, 101.03 Not even near his author time However, that is the fifth fastest time driven in Deddy in rounds mode. Can robot drive a faster time than 10072 in the match? I think if he manages like 1004 or maybe 1003, which would be remarkable, and crashes 35% of the rounds, that would put him as a T Noob champion of ULR5. One oh one four so far. Yeah, Raw just not really showing his hand. I'm just encouraging Rowa to go to a new. I heard some some old players liked slow mo. Nado didn't approve.
And 101 18 from Angel. Top 18 rounds. However, not a single 100 in warm up so far. <laughs> asking for more warm ups. <laughs> Did my encouragement work? This is going to be such a teeny new match. Hardcore is going to send it. That says that Hardcore is not getting dinner tonight if he doesn't drive Daddy One. I like the banter. Okay. <clears throat> Map 3 for tonight. Bay and Coast have been won by CMC. And Johnny disconnects. Nice. Well, at least he's back. Are you all going to retire? And end the round. And ruin my rounds counter so that I have to detract one every time. Why are you so cruel, people? Anyway, off we go. First round, Sanda, Roa, Angel Heart against Hardcore, Johnny and Vet. Sanda, Roa and Hardcore starting off really fast. Roa, point 13 up on his own current Daddy 1. Although we know his real daddy one is 10042, but it wasn't saved. Sander also sending it. Um, so it is Roa and Sander trying to get daddy top one, I guess. Angel Heart following them, and Hardcore crashed, and Johnny and Vet must have also made mistakes because I am. I know that Johnny has the pace for. What's it gonna be? A double 100. Sanders 100. 78 is good enough for Daddy 2. Roa 10094. But that is not quite Daddy 1. You have to go faster, guys. Second round, I saw, I think Johnny, no, must have been hardcore with a wall hit. Roa on the attack, Angel, Hard and Sander. In the battle for second, Angel made a mistake, dropped down, Johnny crashed. Roa is flying right now, point two up, he keep it up. Santa going so close to the edges, still doesn't crash. That is incredible, but not much to commentate on really, because this is just a CMC show on this stadium map. And Roa 
was going really quick. However, it is only 10083. A little faster than the previous round, but not fast enough. Still, at least five rounds to go for Rowa to get that top one. Sander and Rowa with the greatest start of them all. Rowa. Ooh, interesting line variations there. Ooh, Angel Heart crashed. Rowan stands out in front, hardcore second, but he's almost two sec. Uh, I mean third, but he's almost two seconds down. Sander dropping time. Rowa slower than his current top one, but he seems to be improving. Let's see what the dirt has got to say about this. No chance. Point three down. Not this time, Roa, not this time. 10097 followed by Sander a second down on Roa. And Hardcore finishes third. Johnny 110, Angel 112, Vet 114. What is going on? <laughs> It just looks like that the TNT players have been totally demotivated, I don't know, by by what Roa is doing here. So this time, Sander with the, gr with the best start, Roa comes back, 0.15 up, similar line, th ooh, Sander crashed. Now that is... A rare sight, Johnny lagging a little. Roa point twenty two up, followed by Johnny in hardcore. That is last, so it is still eleven ten for CMC as things stand. Point two up for Roa. Is he going to keep up the pace? Yes, he does. Point twenty two up. That smells like daddy one. And indeed it is. 10046. And Sander. I don't know what happened to Sander. He crashed. Finished with a time of 11222 and TNT take their first points. <laughs> How ironic. Raw drives Daddy one with CMC lose the round. And we have Angel Heart crashing right there, right now. Roa, Hardcore and Sansa flying away from the rest at the start, but obviously expected all of them seasoned pro stadium veterans. Roa a little bit slower than in the round prior, followed by Hardcore, Sandy is coming back. Hardcore not giving up, probably sending it just like he promised. Sandy, ooh, Hardcore a bit too high up on that banked dirt turn. And Roa. Nowhere near his previous round time. Only 10104. I believe that's actually the first time he hasn't managed 100 so far. What a disappointing round. And yes, Roa didn't even beat the author time in that previous round. He did in quality who sent a huge crash. 
So Roa is out in front from Angel and Hardcore. Angel Heart crashes again and Vet and Hardcore get ahead. Looks like Angel manages to overcome Vet. I'm really torn between watching Roa and others. Because it does look like Ro is just going to attack every round. However, it's not going swimmingly this round. 0.4 down. Only 10085. What a disappointment. Uh, did I say first one first time below 101? I definitely meant first one above 101 for Roa. Five to one. Roa so far hasn't beaten the 10042 that I want him to beat. He only managed 10046. Round seven. Roa hardcore Santa. The best starts of them all. Angel and Hardcore are staying with them currently. Sander out in front from Roa and Angel. And Sander and Angel both making mistakes. And it is Roa out in front but only 0.33 down on his own top one and he made another mistake and dropped to third. Let's watch his POV for the end of this round. Sand and Angel finish 1 and 2 and Roa with 102.26. Well, I believe it's not going to count as a TA noob round. Map point potentially one round to go. Can Roa do that? I'll just stay on Roa this round. You have to believe in him. Well, with turns like that, no, he has just binned it. And Angel, full stop crash. What is going on, guys? Hardcore and Sander battling it out for the lead. Sander just about gets ahead. Angel hard, hopelessly lost. Ooh, Sander crashed. What are you guys doing? Hardcore and Roa crashed! Come on! So it is Hardcore from Sander and Roa and Angel in the last positions. Can Sander overtake Hardcore? Yes, he can for 10203. But Angel Hard and Roa are 5th and 6th. And TNT score another point. What a what an incredible round. I was not expecting so many crashes. 6-2, still map point. Hardcore and Sansa crashed at the start. Roa in the lead from Angel and Johnny and Vet. So far so good for Roa. Angel Heart crashed. Let's watch Roa again. He is on fire. So far with the blue splits, well, not anymore. Well, we can only wait and see because Stadium works like that in mysterious ways for me. I do not understand it. Well, he seems to be dropping base and CMC are going 1, 2, 3. And he's two tenths down, and it is not going to be it. Point twenty two, one oh oh sixty seven. One second down on him is Sander, and then there's Angel Hard. And the third map goes to 
CMC. Yes, that is indeed the problem. TNT don't have the stadium players, apart from Zippy. So, three maps to CMC, and they only need to win one map to win ULR 5. We will have the entirety of Team All with Rally, Snow and Desert tomorrow, and Island. I think I'm going to stream it, so... Do not forget to subscribe. Because you're going to get more action if you do, and even some reminders. So, thanks to everybody for tuning in. And don't forget to join me tomorrow. Goodbye.